Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discussing about Java Lang out of memory error metaspace. Friends, in the earlier video we discussed about 9 different type of out of memory error. The fourth type of out of memory error is Java Lang out of memory error metaspace. See friends, this error gets thrown when your metaspace region of your memory gets saturated. So the, as we saw in the previous video, the metaspace region is the region where the class definitions, the metadata definitions which are required to execute your application is stored. And when you saturate this region, you are going to get this out of memory error, right? So let me execute a sample program, which is going to simulate this type of out of memory error. Let's look at the sample program here. I'm using an uh, open source framework called as a Java assist, which lets me to create new class definitions, right? Look at what I'm doing here. Here I'm having an infinite while loop. And in this while loop, see what I'm doing. I'm creating a new class, class name, and I'm appending a random number. So that whenever, an, whenever any, every while loop, any, every iteration, a new class name is created. It's going to say com buggy up metaspace object, random UUID. That's what, it's going to get a one ID. And now with this, I'm saying make a class. So this is going to create a new class definition. And this class definition is going to be placed in the metaspace region. And look at this, it's going on a while loop. That means I'm just going to keep on creating a new class definitions. And when I go beyond that metaspace region size, the metaspace region size is defined by that is XX max metaspace size. When I go beyond that capacity, what I've allocated, then you are going to confront this Java Lang out of memory error metaspace. Let me run it, run this program. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay. You see, I'm running it. See, you can see for every 5,000 iterations, it is printing 5,000 new classes created, created. But after a point, when the metaspace region size is saturated, then we get this Java Lang out of memory error metaspace. Friends, our typical response to out of memory error is what? Most, not most, several of them, or say, what is our typical response to out of memory error? We go ahead and increase XMX. We increase at maximum heap size, XMX. When you increase XMX, are you going to solve this problem? No, because look at this. When you increase XMX, you are increasing the size of your heap memory. There is a, XMX is basically the size of heap memory. When you try to increase, it's not going to help you here because the problem is happening in this meta space region, right? Okay. So when this problem happens, how do you go about diagnosing it, right? Friends, the first step is we want to confirm Right here, we have confirmed it that okay, this is out of memory error. Now, you want to look at how the garbage collection behavior is going to be looking like, how the memory is going to happen. Right? So, in the memory, look at this, friends. So, this is a real problem that happened in a very major financial institution. They were running on Kotlin, right? The Kotlin application, which runs on JVM. They are using a driver to load the data from the back end database. For every record set that was coming, that Kotlin framework was creating a new class definitions. Sometimes if you're using that kind of a framework or like kind of a groovy kind of a language, they load new class definitions. When you keep on loading new class definitions in the meta space, you're going to saturate the meta space and you're going to get this meta space Java Lang out of memory and meta space. And this is how a garbage collection behavior is going to look like when you get this out of memory error meta space. Look at this, you can see, here is a ceiling limit, it's going up. But then if you can see, even when it is at the bottom, right, it's not saturating. Typically, when you get Java Lang out of memory, Java heap space error, this is how your garbage collection graph is gonna look like, right? You keep memory keeps building up, it keeps on going. After a point, if your heap space gets saturated, this garbage collection will keep on running, but the memory will not drop. But there is a difference in between this type of, in between this behavior. You can see this full Gs are running only when it's at the peak. The memory is at a peak. Whereas here, when in this meta space, it starts to, full Gc starts to run and it's the bottom itself. Because the meta space is getting saturated. Even though there's enough memory in this heap region, even though there's enough memory in this heap region, still the Gcs will run because the meta space is getting saturated. You're going to see this kind of a pattern appearing in your GC logs. And you can confirm it, right? 
so you can take a gc log and then you can upload it to the tools like a gc ec to see what is going on so here let me open a this real data so here is the gc ec tool to this tool you can upload the gc log so when you upload i have already done it so i'm going to show you when you upload the gc log it says okay there's a leak is happening in the meta space region right it says that it also gives the recommendations how to resolve it but here you can see this pattern happen you can see at the bottom it is happen right this is the first step you want to confirm okay there's a meta space leak is happening okay so now what is the solution to that friends there are two three approaches to solve this problem the most effective solution is look at this if you are running on java 8 and below you want to pass this argument verbose class when you pass this argument verbose class then what's going to happen is whenever any new class definition is loaded to the memory it's going to be printed what class is getting loaded and if you happen to be running on java 9 and above you want to pass this argument class load file give a file name so to this file a new file will be created so that it's going to be reporting all the class definitions which have been created right so now to our program since i am running this on java 8 i'll pass this argument verbose class and then i will show you uh, and then we'll rerun this program now here look at this i am passing this argument verbose class so now even our any class definition is loaded it's going to be printed in my console in my log look at this so here it is printing it is loading oh buggy app meta space see it's getting loaded when any class gets loaded it's getting printed here so now this tells me what is the, what are the classes getting loaded this gives me a very strong indication which part of the code is causing the leak which classes are getting loaded and now the next strong is the stack trace look at the stack trace the stack trace when i get this out of my meta space it tells me where which part from where it is originating these two information is good enough to go right where the meta space memory leak is happening and then knock it down okay so friends now let's let's take a step back and then also you can use eep dump also right or else you can use this uh, class histogram command there's a jcmd which is a tool in jdk can you the processor and show this class histogram so when you issue this kind of a command it's going to show you all the classes which have been loaded in the memory it goes it gives you by the size okay this class is loaded and this much is the size so for example this is how that output is going to look like when you show the class so i'm using a tool to show the result but you can just issue the directly command and see it so when you do that you are going to see something like this okay there is this class that is like a it's loaded like a 4 406 mb and this is the size of it you get to see this printed in the console or you can use this kind of a tools to also upload and see but not needed just issue this command you can look at it or you can also use the eep dump in the eep dump also also prints this class histogram but it's all a little bit heavy weight for you to solve it so just enabling this logging is good enough okay So now let's take a step back and see what what goes into this meta space. What causes this out of memory error meta space? When you are creating large number of dynamic classes, that is using reflection like what I used in my program, or you are using groovy type of languages, then you are trying to load a lot of classes dynamically, then you get this error. Or when you are trying to use like a third party jars, a lot of third party jars, there are third party frameworks, then your application meta space can get bloated and you can get this out of memory error. how to fix it to fix it if it's i want to see whether if it's a leak happening because of in the code then go ahead and fix the code if not increase your meta space size so if you see it's a, okay your application has been organically growing you need to load these many classes and go ahead and increase the max meta space size what are the artifacts you need to troubleshoot you want to enable this verbose class if you're running on java 8 and below if java 9 you want to pass this or you can pass use these two other options as well and what are the tools you need to validate it to confirm the leak you may want to use a gcec or if you are taking eep dump to see what are the classes loaded you may want to use the tool like a epr or eclipse map to troubleshoot it okay friends let me here also quickly talk about the fifth type of out of memory error which is the perm gen space friends the perm gen 
got replaced by meta space in java 8 before java 8 all your class definitions and metadata definitions that are required to execute a program was stored in the perm gen right uh, but it got replaced by meta space in java 8 so you will when that perm gen gets saturated you are going to get java lang out of memory error perm gen space you are going to get that but you will not get this type of out of memory error perm gen space when you are running on java 8 because it got replaced but over the diagnosis approach, what you use for diagnosing the meta space is very similar or exactly the same when you are going to do for perm gen as well, right? So pretty much you can use the same approach what we discussed for meta space out of memory error. You can use the same approach to get to the root cause for perm gen, okay? Thank you, friends.